Did you ever thought about using bulgur in your painting as a texture? Well, today I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm a big fan of texture and a big fan of crackle in my paintings. And today I'm going to bring them all together. I use the Easy 3D Flex from Powertex powder to make crackle and I mix it with gesso. Bulgur is a grain product and you can find it in a supermarket. To make a strong texture, you need to mix the bulgur with a Powertex. To color my painting, I use different kinds of mediums, uh, fluid ones and some paste and um, powders. You find it all in the description below this video. I start with uh, mixing the crackle paste. I'm using um, the powder Easy 3D Flex powder from Powertex and I mix it with the gesso. I have uh, several videos how to do it. I mix one by one to make a firm paste. I've painted my canvas black and now I'm bringing the crackle paste to my canvas. And you can see it's a really firm paste that I make. Make sure that the paste makes good contact with the canvas. I, I always use the, my big palette knife for the crackle paste. You can see it's not easy to uh, spread the paste and that's because my palette knife is not clean. It's important to work with a um, clean palette knife. As you can see it's not clean. It's a bit dirty and there are a lot of uh, paste on the, on the back side of the palette knife. So now I'm spreading a little bit water on it and see how easy it is now to spread the crackle paste. I like to destroy my crackle paste because it makes a more interesting texture. If you want more of uh, this kind of videos where I showing you my uh, texture painting process, it will mean a lot to me if you subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. For building up an extreme texture, I use uh, as a base the clay, just a cheap children's clay. And you can see here my building up the, the texture because I'm making an extremely high texture of the bulgur later on.
I use a white power text to mix with the bulgur. Power text is a textile hardener. Perfect to use because it becomes very strong when it's dry. This is how it looks when it's ready to use. I use the Powertex also as a glue to bring on the mixture from the Bulgar and the Powertex. And I love to use my hands for that. I build up the texture little by little. When this texture is dry it becomes very hard because of the Powertex and it won't come off anymore. It won't fall apart also. Just playing around with the texture, bring it on and take it away, just finding the most beautiful composition for this texture. You can see how high I built this texture up. When it's dry, it has left, been left for 24 hours. Spray some bister just to make sure that the deeper parts of my texture are dark. That makes it easier to color the painting later on because it's important to build up your color and to have the dark colors uh, on the deeper parts of your texture. When the black bistro is dry, then it's time to bring on the first color and I'm spreading some water to uh, make sure the color floats more easily into the texture. I start with the most fluid uh, paintings, acrylic paintings, Pebeo. I love a lot in my painting and the high fluid colors from Golden. I let the color find its own way. As you can see, I love this way of coloring because the color will find its own way in the texture. As always, I'm bringing on a layer of gesso with my uh, paint roller. That is the most easy way to blend your colors together. To finish it, I'm bringing some metallic color. It is a paste, a Luna color paste. 
and it brings some shine in my painting. I love it. I always love to combine a different kind of uh, color mediums. So now I'm bringing some power effect color pigment in the into the wet paste of the Luna and it gives a beautiful effect. The power effect colors the looks white but they give a beautiful color when you use it on a darker surface. It is all about experimenting and yeah, layering colors, different kind of mediums and it gives a, a beautiful uh, result. Well, I hope you liked this video and learned something. Please let me know in the comment if you have any question. I hope to see you in my next video. For now, bye bye. Now you can clearly see how high I built up the texture and look at all those colors. They are beautiful together.